It's an opportunity within the show tonight just to turn for a moment to another sport. Football, of course, is the dominant subject uh, on the show, certainly tonight. But within the world of snooker, it's, uh, it's just not going right, Flash. You know, I mean, snooker has massively lost its popularity over the last decade. I don't know why. It gained its, its popularity when they brought in colour television, believe it or not, because then you could see what colour the balls were, obviously. <laughs> and, 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 and it became very exciting. And they had characters in those days. Those yeah, characters were born of the snooker halls. And now it all seems to have gone terribly flat. I don't know whether it's become international and we don't recognise the people, but whatever. So Barry Hearn steps in. And Barry Hearn is a, a legendary entrepreneur, a legendary gamesman, you know, game, you know, gamesmanship and knows how to promote things, promotes darts, promotes boxing, promotes uh, snooker. He got a grip of the game, tried to, uh, to make it better, and then he starts getting criticised by a young player who thinks he's got it wrong. I mean, explain that to me. Uh, some people uh, should keep their mouth shut, really, yep. and, and, and leave it to those uh, a bit more sort of well-informed or yep. those that can actually do something about it because yep. he's, he's passing an opinion on it. It's not going to help him yep. or, or, his, uh, or his mates no, out, really. No, exactly. We're talking, of course, about young Mark Allen, a, a player who's uh, criticising uh, Barry Hearn for reducing the number of frames that they play. Well, I tell you what, we got hold of legendary um, uh, snooker commentator and, uh, and journalist Clive Everton, and this is how it went. Clive, thank you very much indeed for joining us this evening. Now, as the legendary broadcaster and uh, editor of Snooker Scene that you are, what do you make of young Mark Allen suddenly hitting out against Barry Hearn, a man who most would say has actually revived and tried to save the snooker industry? Well, I, I would say that. Uh, Mark Allen is a very good player, but he's shown a very a shaky grasp of uh, Snooker's uh, bigger picture. His main beef seems to be uh, the reduction of matches in the UK Championship in the earlier rounds from best of 17 spread over two sessions to best of 11 spread over one session. Um, but this alteration was made at the instigation of the BBC. Uh, they wanted to get the whole tournament through uh, on two tables, both of which could be televised, uh, instead of having to have, as in previous years, uh, two outside tables as well with no cameras. Um, uh, and uh, this, this uh, necessitated uh, shortening <coughs> matches to, to one session. Clive, first of all, Mark's um, suggesting that when Barry Hearn said he was coming in, he, he pledged that he would have no changes with the major tournaments. Do you think he's gone against his word there? Not really, not really. You've always, always got to respond to events. Uh, we've got to face the fact that uh, the BBC are snooker's biggest paymasters. Um, they used to um, uh, pay a, a £4 million pounds rights fee for four tournaments a year. Now they're paying uh, £3 million for three. And in, in the renegotiation, uh, they made it clear that they wanted a result uh, from every session. Uh, now, I think, that, I think that was a reasonable request. It hasn't led to a lower standard of play. Uh, it hasn't led to uh, a glut of surprise results. In fact, of the 16 first-round matches, seed versus qualifier, the seed, including Alan, has won on 14 occasions. So I, I don't think that anything has been lost. Mm. Now, in the, in the terms of the snooker world, if this had been Ronnie O'Sullivan, Clive, then it would have carried some weight. What sort of weight does, uh, does young Mark Allen carry? Well, uh, on his own, uh, not, a, not a great deal. Um, he, he's had a bit of a moan about another Hearn innovation, uh, which is the uh, Players Tour Championship events. There are 12 of them, uh, and they have their own order of merit and uh, uh, playoffs for 24 players at the end of the uh, season for, for pretty big money. But the trouble with the, the, the 12 tournaments is that um, the prize money is relatively low. It's only €10,000 uh, for uh, first prize, and you've got to go uh, to Antwerp or somewhere even to win that. But the whole point of the PTCs uh, is to build the game, in, um, particularly in continental Europe, uh, and build the game towards them being able to stage uh, full-ranking events for big money. You can't sort of go uh, for a hole in one, so to speak, on, on these things. You, you, you've got to build it up. Clive, do you think that anything's can new uh, roll over into the flagship event of uh, the World Championships in April? I don't think so. Um, I mean, there's one 
change that I would like to see. I would like to see first round matches uh, reduced from 19 frames uh, to 17 um, because uh, with 19 you sometimes get one session uh, running into another. But th- th- that's just a, a, a little a little tickle, nothing of any uh, nothing of any account. I, I think the World Championship will stay exactly as it is, and I think the UK Championship would have stayed exactly as it was, but for. Um, the uh, commercial pressures on uh, World Snooker to get the uh, uh, BBC contract renewed. Mm. And, and Clive, what do you think Barry Hearn will, uh, how, how will he respond to this? You know, he's been around a long time. He's, he's both innovated a lot and seen a lot of people off who, who've tried to put him down. Will he be sufficiently moved to want to respond? I, I think he, he will treat this uh, with complete content. Uh, it, uh, it's, it's just a case of, of a player um, uh, talking rather wildly about something that he, he, he doesn't really know anything about. He's not, he's not an expert. Uh, he, he doesn't see the big picture. All he can see is that he'd rather be playing 17 frames uh, rather than 11. But I'm afraid um, that the attraction of snooker doesn't depend uh, on the players in that sense. It depends on television and the public. And it, it, it's also worth noting uh, that ticket sales um, uh, this season, this time for the UK Championship, are 30% higher than the previous record. I think that says something about the Hearn revolution. Yeah, and the way he's attracted people to, to get back into the game. Well, Clive, as ever, I want to thank you very much indeed, please, for that insight into the game. Masterful, and we we'll hope we'll see you back on Sport Tonight Live very soon.